this is so bad i like barely know anything about these books uh, but it's okay it's okay <laughs> hello everyone i'm really excited about today's video because i'm going to walk you through every single book that i currently have checked out with kindle unlimited now the limit um for kindle unlimited checkouts is 20 at a time i think i have like 19. I don't know if I have the full 20, but I definitely have a lot. So I think this is a fun video for you to get, you know, book inspo from. I actually saw my friend Jess over at Peace Love Books do this video a while ago, and I was like, that is such a great idea. I don't know full descriptions for all of the books that I'm about to talk about, but you know, I have a general idea about them. So again, hopefully you find this video helpful and you get some book inspo. Oh, and also I feel like it should be pretty obvious that all of the books that I have checked out are romance books. So yeah, I think that is enough for this intro. Uh, let's just get right on in to all of the books that I have checked out with Kindle Unlimited. Okay, so the first book that I have up is actually a sequel to a book that I love and I talk about all the time. And that book is Syndicate of Sins. Um, this is actually the second book um, after Skeletons of Society, which is a cartel motorcycle club romance that I love. I've brought it up on this page before. This follows a character who is introduced in that first book. I don't think it's really necessary to read Skeletons of Society before this one, but I honestly would because I love Skeletons of Society so much. So I'm really excited for this one. This one is actually a Why Choose, which is amazing. Um, I know friends who have ARC read it or they read it and they loved it and I know Scar is just going to be another badass female because Marie just writes the best um, female MCs and I'm so so excited for this one. Like I really really am. I think I'm just going to love it. And then I have been on a whole QB Tyler marathon, the last book that I plan to read from her that I have checked out from Kindle Unlimited. Um, that's actually going to be my next Kindle read after I do some of the arcs that I have to read this month. And that is What Was Meant to Be. Now this one I believe is, the guy is like her step uncle. I think the taboo-ness of it is obviously the heavy age gap and then like the step relation. Um, it's not like stepbrother. I'm, I'm quite literally sure it's like a step uncle. Um, and it's also, I guess, kind of like a second chance romance. And I know it's really messy and there's a lot of drama and some cheating and it's really spicy. And people who have read a lot of QB books, they absolutely love this one. Um, so I'm really excited to check this one out for myself. I love QB. She's a new insta -buy author for me. I love everything that I've read from her basically. And I'm really ready to see what the hype is about with this one. And another book that is really um, gaining momentum, I would say on like TikTok and Bookstagram, it's by a new to me author. It is a sports romance. This one is football. Second book in the series is hockey. And then this one is called First Down by Grace Riley. Um, I've heard like people are saying if you like books like Icebreaker, that you'll really enjoy this because it's kind of the same like level of spice, but it's also really cute. Um, and like just a swoon worthy, you know, lead and a couple. Um, so I am ready to check this out. I'm not the biggest sports romance girly like I'm trying to find sports romance books that I absolutely love and actually one of my all-time favorite books is Wall of Winnipeg and Me by Mariana Zapata which is a sports romance and it is a football romance so this one's a football romance so maybe just like football is the sport for me um so we will see how I like this one then this is one that I've actually had checked out for a while we have tentacles and triathlons by Ashley Bennett now Ashley Bennett is the author of muscles and monsters which is a book that I love so much and it's actually the first book in this little series um that takes place at this gym like it follows these monsters who work at this gym but then they have relationships with people so i loved the first one so so much this is the follow-up you know that follows um a different couple i am just like saving this in my pocket for when i want a cute and cozy monster romance because that's what ashley bennett does she writes just really great monster romances so and this is a novella as well i'm very 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 excited for this i'm just like saving it for when i need it you know next up we have another book in a series um and i actually just found the physical copy of this book in store which i'm very excited about um we have souls and sorrows by savar miller and the thing with this book is this is part of her i think it's called like monsters and muses series this is the newest release which i believe is book five 
Um, and this one actually follows the sister of the girl who we see in book one, which is called Promises and Pomegranates. I've read the first two books in this series, Promises and Pomegranates and Vipers and Virtuosos. I own physical copies of all of the books in this series because as you can see, they have beautiful covers. And I really loved Promises and Pomegranates um, a lot, Vipers and Virtuosos. I enjoyed, didn't enjoy it as much as Promises and Pomegranates, um, but the girls got me so excited for this book. Like every friend who I had who read this book hyped it up so much and made it seem like it was something that I was just gonna eat the fuck up. This is actually a marriage of convenience, I think, um, or an arranged marriage. And just the way that everyone was like posting quotes and scenarios from this book, it's obviously darker. I think there's like a nice age gap in there. The main guy's name is Cal. I think and he's just kind of supposed to be kind of like a quiet scary type which I love and I normally never read books out of order like if I was going in the correct order the next book I would need to read from this series is called Oats and Omissions and this is a series that it it all takes place in the same world but and it follows people who are connected but after like reading Vipers and Virtuosos the couple in book one was like briefly mentioned like it really read like a full standalone so I think these books again you're really okay reading them out of order I just normally never do like if it's a series of like connected books that take place in the same world I like to read them in order right but everyone just got me so excited for this one and maybe because it's a marriage of convenience so we'll see when I get to this one if I decide to read it out of order from the series or if I go for it but I'm just I'm really ready for this one and it better not let me down I don't want it to let me down. I actually think I'm going to really love it, everything I know about it. I just have to, you know, decide when I'm going to read it. And you didn't think I wouldn't have a cowboy romance in here, did you? Um, I'm very excited. We have, I believe this is called Saddle Up Cowboy by um, Sade Rena. Um, this was recommended to me um, on TikTok. Um, someone pointed out that Sade Rena does have cowboy romances. And I'm really excited. Sade also follows me on TikTok and she's so nice. And she, this is actually part of a series, um, I believe. I don't know how many books she has in this cowboy series. Maybe there's like three or four of them out right now. I genuinely don't know anything about this book. I just saw it was a cowboy romance. There was cowboy in the title. I heard it's good. And here we are. So this is also on my very high priority um, Kindle Unlimited TBR. So this one I definitely want to get to sooner rather than later. These next three books I actually think are so on brand for me. Um, first up we have Latte Darling by S.J. Tilly. Uh, this is also part of a series of like connected books, you know, connected standalones. Uh, there is one that comes before this one, I think. I can't remember the name of it. Um, but anyways, this is Latte Darling. This one is a heavy age gap romance, I believe, and like a really alpha hero. I've heard nothing but like rave reviews about this one. And it's not like I'm seeing many people post about it on like TikTok and Instagram, but I'm in a couple Facebook groups and the people are always recommending this and they love it. And I've never read anything by SJ Tilly before, but I mean, she had me at heavy age gap. So I think I'm going to like this book. I feel like there's a, a big, big suspicion that I'm really going to enjoy this book. I'm so sorry. I can't tell you more about the synopsis, but I think, I mean, I know I'm taking a guess. I think the girl actually works in a coffee shop shocker can you imagine if this book is called latte darling and she doesn't um but i do think that maybe the setup or maybe it's his coffee shop i feel like there's something with the coffee shop um i hope i'm not wrong but that's all i know about this book but my body is ready i'm ready for this one we're really switching gears this is i think the first book on here that's probably like a super dark romance. Um, and that is called The Skeleton King. I actually don't know who this is by. I can't see on the picture and I don't feel like pulling it up, but you'll see on the screen. Um, so yes, I, from what I know about this book, this book, and I'm gonna sound the alarms, this book is apparently very, 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 very dark. I actually know without a doubt that this is the darkest book that I'm gonna put in this video. I've heard that if you literally can get past, you know, like the trigger warnings and the first like four pages that, you know, you can maybe handle this book. 
Um, I let like everyone is just like the first chapter or something was just wild. And I'm like, okay. Um, the reason this book stuck out to me is because this is actually technically a like retelling. It's inspired by the nightmare before Christmas. And this is part of a whole series that, um, a whole collection of authors did where they each contributed a book that is inspired by you know like a fairy tale something disney i feel like you never see anything inspired by nightmare before christmas so i mean i feel like the title kind of you know gives it away so i'm excited i nightmare before christmas is one of my favorite movies ever i love it so i'm just so intrigued that there's this kind of really dark reimagining of it i'm ready you know to see how dark it is i have read you know pretty pretty dark romances especially I feel like with the Mila Crawford novella that I just read I feel like the things that happen in that book are kind of similar to what I'm going to see in this book um again this book is definitely going to be something that is not for everyone uh, you may hear like it's a nightmare for Christmas retelling and you may be like oh my god like I love it like please again understand that this book I know for a fact is very 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 dark so please do your research on it. Please read your triggers. I would not say this is a beginner dark romance. I haven't even read it, but I just know from what I know about it that this book is not, you know, for the non-dark romance people. But let me tell you, I'm very intrigued. I'm really, this is either going to be a book that I love or hate. There's no way. There's no way, Um, obviously. Like, I feel like I'm either going to be so disappointed where I'm just so mad um, or I'm going to be like absolutely obsessed with it. And then I'm going to struggle because I won't know how to recommend it because it'll be something that's so dark. This is definitely one of the top books that I have checked out right now that I'm really just like, when am I going to discover it? When am I going to see what's in it for myself? Next up is a book by an author that I think, I have a strong feeling that I'm going to eat up everything that I read by this author because from what I know um, with the kind of books that they write, they seem to be very aimed at my taste. This is Brutal Intentions by Lilith Vincent. Um, Lilith Vincent writes like dark romance, mafia romance. I think a lot of her books have like heavy age gaps and they're definitely more on the darker side. This book I love is only like just shy of 200 pages. I think it's pretty short. And this one actually, I think is also kind of like the QB Tyler where it's like a step guardian situation. So again, they're not blood related, but it is between a younger girl and a guy who has been around, you know, for her life. So I understand that that is not something that everyone is comfortable with. Like I said, Lilith Vincent, I know writes darker romances. I personally really like age gaps like that. And um, I think this is Mafia. I think this is the first book in a Mafia series. And I'm just very, very, very excited about this one. Again, um, Lilith Vincent also has a duet like called the pageant duet, which I'm really excited about. And she's just an author that's very high on my radar. And again, I just have a feeling I'm really going to vibe with her work. So that is Brutal Intentions. And that is all that I know about it. Moving on to another book that I know I've had checked out for a very long time. Um, we have Unhinged by Onley James. This is a whole series um, that they have of M.M romances but the point of these romances is that one person in the relationship is kind of like a psycho or like they're serial killers they have these instincts i'm pretty sure the point is that someone in the relationship is like a serial killer but they're serial killers that take down bad people so it reminds me a lot of dexter which is one of my favorite shows and again it's a full series i think it's like all of these men who get taken in by this one guy and then maybe they learn how to like use their it's not like powers where they have like su supernatural powers but like they use like their, their they understand their urges to kill that's really all that I can remember from this series right now I wish I had more info to give you but that's all I got just know that it's a serial killer romance they're mm and I heard they're really action-packed and very spicy as well and they're also all on the shorter side which I do really appreciate <laughs> Next up, we have a Why Choose Romance, and actually the first book that I will probably ever read from Lily Gold. This is Three Swedish Mountain Men. Now, this is actually also her shortest book in her backlist, which is why it jumped out at me, because some of her other ones, like Faking with Benefits, are like over 500 pages, and I don't really understand why they're so long. Um, people have told me that they do read quickly regardless, but I do not care. 
I don't know why a romantic comedy, why choose romance, needs to be well over 500 pages, but okay. So this one is nice and short. It is about a girl who quite literally gets snowed in with three Swedish mountain men. I think they're like on a ski resort or maybe they're not. I don't even know what the setup is aside from she does in fact get snowed in with these guys. And of course it's a, you know, spicy, why choose time. Then we have actually a fantasy romance book rack and this is for my friends on TikTok who really wanted me to read this book and I will say it is nice and short which I like it is the first book in a series and that is what is it called a kingdom of stars and shadows by Holly Renee do I know why this is a fantasy romance no I don't even know what the setup is I don't know if it's fae I don't know if it's like a witch I have no idea I know nothing except that apparently it's short fun and spicy and apparently it's like really spicy um so th this is this is all I got for this one but I hope one of my friends who told me to read this I hope they're happy that I still have it checked out again I definitely want to read this you know eventually I think I want to do a whole kind of like fantasy romance paranormal romance like reading vlog type of situation because you know stepping out of my comfort zone because normally I'm not a big fantasy person but I do have you know one checked out on Kindle Unlimited right now and it looks like that is the only one. Next up is a book that you probably maybe have seen floating around because this series is definitely gaining a lot of speed. I have heard from multiple people that I will enjoy this series so hopefully I do. So the first book in the series is Sinners Anonymous. I think it's quite literally called the Sinners Anonymous series or the Anonymous series, something like that. It is Mafia. So the first book follows one couple, but then the next two books in the series follow the same couple. Next book coming out, fourth book follows someone else. Um, so yes. Um, do I know the setup for this one? What is this one? Is it like an enemies to lovers? This one's not a marriage of convenience, is it? Relationship of convenience? I can't remember. I have no idea. <laughs> That's all I got on this one also. Again, I just know there's a lot of hype around it. People seem to really love it. I hope that I love it. Apparently they're quick reads um, too, which I love. And listen, I love a Mafia series. The covers of these books are cool. Um, and yeah, this is so bad. I like barely know anything about these books, uh, but it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Actually, next book I do know a little bit more about. We have Phantom by Greer Rivers. I am so ready for this book because this is literally a dark, spicy, modern Phantom of the Opera retelling. That's it. That's all I cut the cameras dead ass. That's all I need to know. This book is actually, this is one of the books that I have checked out right now that if this book lets me down, I'm going to be so upset because I love Phantom of the Opera. I've seen the musical live. I love the movie. I love the musical. I love musicals and I love Phantom of the Opera because it's gothic and I just, I love it and I'm ready for this. I really, this can't let me down. And I believe, like I said, it's modern. It's a modern setting. I mean, that would have been really sick if it was a period piece, but I do believe it's just a modern setting. I mean, I do know plenty of people who have read this and they loved it. So thoughts and prayers that this book does not let me down. I really don't want it to because I'm super, super excited about this one. And then she's doing a follow-up book to it. You know, that's like, it's a connected series, whatever, or a theme series that's going to be inspired by Moulin Rouge, which is another one of my favorite movies, musicals. Like Greer. Greer Rivers gets it. And if you've read this one, please let me know if you liked it or not. Because I'm I'm like nervous to read it because I feel like I've built so much hype about it in my head. But I'm very, very, very excited for this one. Then we actually have a series that I can't wait to finish. Um, we have The Front Runner by Elsie Silver. This is book three in her Gold Rush Ranch series. I was doing really well. I binged the first two books back to back and then I got a little distracted where I couldn't get into The Front Runner. Um, but um, I'm on a mission, you know, to finish Elsie's backlist. I mean, she really doesn't have much out aside from this Gold Rush Ranch series, which is four books, Chestnut Springs, which now is at four books. And then there's like a novella that is connected to Gold Rush Ranch. So if it's Elsie Silver, I will be reading it. This book follows, I can't remember her name, but she is like the vet. Yes, I think she's like a horse vet 
or you know like she's a, a horse doctor it's not it's not called a horse doctor oh my god she basically works in the medical profession with animals um so that's how the people from book one and two know her the gold rush ranch series all these people are connected they do really interact with each other a lot so i would read them in order even though again if you want to read it as a standalone you can i just think it's more fun to read it in order and this is i think it enemies to lovers because the guy who is the love interest in this one I think is kind of like I don't know if he's like a full villain character but he definitely I don't think is painted in the best light in the first two books from what I can remember so I'm excited to check this one out we will see when I decide to get back into the series but do know I love this world and I really enjoy the series and I mean come on it's Elsie Silver so I have no doubt that it's gonna be a win okay and we are almost done how exciting next book will Miss Tara Do It be three for three. I have Root Bound. Um, this is the only book by her that I haven't read yet. And when I say, will she be three for three? Every book I've read from her, I've given five stars. I've cried over every single one of her books. This is actually her first book that came out. I will say her books seem to be coming out on audio um, like a good amount of time after each other like funny feelings came out on audio then I feel like not that long after the co-op came out on audio so I wonder if Rootbound will be able to come out on audio soon I would really like to listen to it on audio um because I enjoyed the co-op on up uh, the co-op on audio I should honestly just ask Tara when Rootbound is expected to have an audiobook but anyways this one is I think literally about people going back to their small town because it's Tara I'm pretty confident that I'm going to enjoy this and I like the setup I love a small town vibe so hopefully this is good look at that I have another cowboy romance in here whoop whoop this is called talk dirty cowboy by L Thorpe I read um the Christmas book what's it 25 ways to hate Christmas and cowboys and that book is actually technically part of this world but this is the first book in that series I did because I think this is pretty short as well and because it's cowboys I mean sign me up I enjoyed the first book that I read by this author so hopefully her other cowboy books you know don't disappoint me and then I can add to my never-ending list of cowboy recommendations um but yes Hopefully we get a good cowboy book out of this one. And again, I'm so sorry. I can't remember the setup at all. I checked this book out a while ago. I can't remember. This is Titan by Jillian Graves. And as you can see, it's a monster romance. I think he's literally like a, gar a gargoyle. Actually, I saw Jillian Graves post on Instagram that this is getting an audiobook, but the audiobook isn't coming out until like July. So, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. But this is actually a, well, the kink in here is Daddy Dom. So we love to see it. My daddy lovers know what I'm talking about. So this I think has to do with a, I think she's rich. I think, I think it's like a rich girl um, who ends up needing help for whatever reason. Now tell me how I thought I could explain what I remember this book was about, but then I completely forgot. I don't know how this girl ends up in the care of this daddy Dom gargoyle, um, but she does at one point and that's all I got. That's all I got. I've actually never read anything by Jillian Graves before. Um, I'm excited to check out her monster romances because you guys know I love monster romances. They're definitely like a comfort genre for me. Um, I know people who have read this and really enjoyed it. So listen, we love a dominant daddy gargoyle. Okay, and then we did it. It's the last book. The last book. Definitely the book that I've had checked out for the longest time. And that is Kept by the Mountain Man, which is book three in Gemma Weir's Mountain Man series. These books are for my people who like alpha heroes, like really, really alpha heroes. Um, age gap romances, um, they're spicy. Again, like they're, they're Mountain Man books. Like you need to understand these are just fun, silly, chaotic romances. If you don't like alpha heroes and like overprotective men, you will not like don't even don't even look at this series. But I think if you just want a spicy good time and you like more alpha heroes, you will enjoy this. This one, I believe the setup is the guy, you know, who's one of the brothers saves a girl from an accident or something and he finds her and he's you know 
he's a mountain man. He's like, this is mine. I'm claiming it. And like, he takes care of her and it's probably a forced proximity situation. And I'm about 99.999% positive that is the setup for this book. And if I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. So that was it. That was every book that I have checked out with Kindle Unlimited right now. Um, have you read any of these books? Do you think I'll like them? Did you enjoy them? I would love to know in the comments. What books do you have currently checked out on Kindle Unlimited that you're excited for? Um, yeah, and as always, all of my socials are linked down below. My TikTok, Instagram, um, I almost said YouTube. You're on my YouTube. Everything that I have is linked below. If you really enjoyed this video and you, you know, you like these books and you like romance books and you want book recommendations, please subscribe. It means the world. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye.